Hi, I'm Dr. Erin Madigan Fleck, and welcome to Facebook Live. We're here in Atlanta, Georgia at Naturaphoria. We're going to introduce you today Derma Education TV, or DETV. We're going to be presenting all different things on Derma Education TV, including some of the most important things estheticians want to know, um, histological sciences about the skin, ingredient technology, equipment technology, and all things that we need to know as estheticians and want to know. So for example, we're going to be talking about advanced training uh, in se several aspects, skin analysis, uh, cellular science, and physiological anatomy of cells and the skin, microcurrent, um, advanced training as far as LED, holistic aesthetic certification, all kinds of classes that are very important to expand our knowledge in the aesthetic community. It's not enough to read a book, it's more important to get that hands-on training as well as video, and we are going to be prevent presenting webinars as well. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, the importance of interacting with your client and skin assessment. As we know, intake forms are extremely important. They're not a, a casual thing that we should do. They are mandatory in the industry. And Heather, my great, great model, is with me today. She's agreed to let me test her skin with a device called the SD202. So in, in what we found in the industry today, the traditional uh, application of skin assessment has really changed. We have clients that are on multiple medications, they have more compromised health, and so we need more investigative information as far as the skin is concerned. Well, this, one, this is just one device that can help us do that. So I'm going to show you how this device works. There are several different probes, but today we're just going to take um, the hydration device, and it measures, this little probe on the end is, has an activity, when you press it on the skin, it measures the, the epidermal surface to look at um, hydration. So I'm going to take it on Heather and we're going to test several spots. I'm going to test her, che her cheek and there's a little intermittent beep and let me get her client card here and we're going to uh, note that she has several different readings. We're going to measure her other cheek and we're going to measure her forehead and her chin. Okay, so what this machine will permit me to do now is I take the average of her, I memorized those for me, I'm going to take the average of her readings and look at a graph that's going to tell me uh, very scientifically what is her situation as far as the hydration of her skin. So what I'm seeing on Heather and she's complained to me about um, some of the concerns of, about her skin and, and epidermal water loss. She is a fashion model. She wears makeup. She's worried about dehydration and her makeup wearing on her skin. She's also complained about her makeup not staying on. So that's a, a dead giveaway of some hydration problems. Um, looking at her readings, she's got some problems with lymphatic circulation as well, which she's complained to me about. Um, maybe a little of the darkness under the eyes. Concealer is great, but she wants to wear her makeup without, wear, have her skin without makeup. That could be a problem. So the lymphatic circulation um, can lead to transepidermal water loss as well. So this is a really good device that we teach in some of our classes. Heather's got great skin. She's been very compliant as a client. And um, we interface and check her skin quite often on this device and other devices to help stratify the client experience. And that's what it's all about for us as estheticians to give our clients the best knowledge that we can. And we start with knowledge with ourselves. So I'd like to thank you for coming to watch DETV today and Facebook Live. And I look forward to seeing you at our next broadcast. Thanks for watching Derma Education TV. Join the DETV Preferred Professional Network to browse available classes and get 10% off during summer 2018. DermaEducationTV.com